beautiful British Columbia. There's mountains here. Diesel, there's mountains here. What in the world? Where'd they come from? Where'd they come from, man? And you know which house I want? I just want to show you right off the bat. Beginning of the vlog, my dream house. Straight ahead in front of me right there. Let's zoom in real slow and dramatic. There it is. Look at that. Well, it's hard to hold my hand still in the morning. Literally just woke up like one minute ago. Okay, isn't that awesome? Way up on the top of the mountain like that. That's actually not a mountain to me yet. Because it doesn't have snow on top of it. But, since we're in British Columbia, it's a mountain. Because I said so. Walking the weasel. Walking the weasel. Is that a good post right there, man? What do you think of that post? Oh, I'll have to check it out, man. This looks good to me. Quick decision. Good man. Good man. Yeah, the mountains back there are a little bigger. You see them? They got snow on top of them. Uh, the mountains are getting smaller now because like I was telling you yesterday, we're in the lower mainland. I think I told you that yesterday. Did I cut that out? I don't know. This is like a bowl, the lower mainland. This is where all the people are in British Columbia. Or the most amount of people, not all the people. But it's like, a, it's a big, they call it a big world-class city. I don't know how many people are in Vancouver in the surrounding area though. How many, do you guys know? There's a bunch of you from out here. What's the population of the lower mainland here? And I'm talking like Vancouver, Langley, Abbotsford, uh, even count Chilliwack here. All this lower mainland here, but how many people live out here? Tell me in the comments below, I'm very curious. I'm sure it's gotta be close to 10 million in this whole place here. There's lots of people. But Vancouver's a huge city, huge city. And they really don't like losing hockey games when the Stanley Cup is involved. <laughs> Sorry to bring that back up. I just think of that every time I come to Vancouver. I think of the riot when they lost to Boston. Such a shame. You know, this year maybe the Stanley Cup will stay in Canada. Or come to Canada. I guess it's... Who won the Stanley Cup last year? Oh my, what kind of Canadian am I asking that question? I'm going to go smack myself right now. We're going to get back on the highway here and uh, see what traffic is like. If I remember correctly, the traffic from here to Langley is pretty, pretty intense, unless they fixed it. I know that they've been widening the highway closer to the big city. I don't know if that would help anything all the way out here in Chilliwack, but. Continue 250 meters, then turn right onto one. That's what I'm gonna do, Mandy. Super duper slow. 
I just passed a driver before he was hauling a load of lumber, literally doing less than half the speed limit for no reason. He wasn't on a hill or anything, and he didn't just merge onto the highway. For some reason, he was just doing half the speed limit, like 50 in a 100 zone. That'd be like 30 miles an hour in a 60 zone. his four ways on didn't have his hazards didn't even have his lights on i mean it's daylight you don't have to have your lights on but still you know what i mean well we're past chilliwack coming up to hope bc very soon now we're gonna pull into flying j at hope i gotta clean up my trailer and i'm gonna be switching trailers in Kelowna, so i gotta make sure this trailer is ready for the next driver whoever takes it and hopefully the last driver did the same for me with the trailer that i'm picking up Flying J nice. Mountains everywhere. Trucks, mountains. Except they built this parking lot with this giant grass area right in the middle, so you can't park here. It's because there's a high pressure line going underneath here. They don't want the heavy trucks parking on top of it. But seriously, why would you build your parking lot right on top of one of those big lines? <laughs> there's like 10 spots where people can't park. Another one over there. Weird. Oh well. This is British Columbia. I just realized I showered before I cleaned up my trailer. It's a little bit of a unique trailer. We have unique trailers. There's a little bit of extra work you have to do to clean it up to get it ready for the next load, right? So it takes about 20 minutes, half an hour to clean it all up. Ah, and I'm gonna get all sweaty. I just put on my nice new clothes. Now I gotta change back into my old clothes. What a waste of a shower. Why did I do that? He's a why didn't you do oh, I tried to tell you, man, but you just went ahead anyway. You were determined to have your shower. Dang it. Well, I better change and get to it and try not to get too sweaty. Then I'll change back into my new clothes when I'm done. Life. Whew. Not bad. Look at this. I'm back in my nice clothes and everything. Diesel, thanks for all your help, man. 
Yeah, no problem, man. No problem. I stood guard like a boss, man. He did. I want to give a special shout out. I think that's your truck over there. The nice scenery behind it. Adam. If you remember Adam, uh, if you remember Adam, uh, if you remember one of my videos a long time ago, uh, about in springtime, I was in New Brunswick, Salisbury, New Brunswick. Is at the Irving truck shop. I was doing laundry, and there was a couple in there, uh, and they drove a truck as well from Manitoba, I believe, and. Or were they really from Ontario? Anyways, they had a friend. They knew about me through a friend. Their friend's name was Adam. And they said that they heard about my videos through him. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I gave him a shout out in the video. What do you know, all the way across the country, like 4,000 kilometers away, <laughs> six months later, he runs into me again and he comes and says hi. And I believe you said that was your truck. Correct me in the comments if that's not your truck. But beautiful looking rig over there. Nice load too. Nice low boy trailer. He said that he was the one hauling the machine. I can't tell from here if that's you or not, but uh, he's from Ottawa anyways. I'm sorry if that's not your truck. Uh, but I was in the trailer cleaning up there and he uh, came around to the back and scared me. He's like, Trucker Dash! And, uh, <laughs> scared me. But uh, it was all good and it has made my day again that someone that recognized me came and said hi to me. So that's pretty cool, guys. Uh, I know it's really hard to bump into me. I always say that. Uh, I don't ever reveal where I am and where I'm going to be. What do we got going on here? You are here. No, actually, I'm right here holding the camera, but okay. So we got 13 kilometers of a 6% grade, then we got a runaway lane. And we have another runaway lane. Another 2 kilometers, 6%. Another 5 kilometers, 6%. And then a couple of the plateaus there. That's what we got ahead. So obviously, we're at a brake check at the top of uh, Penask Mountain. We're at the Penask. Penask, pen, pen ask, brake check, and check this out, eh? We got snow all around here. Interesting, eh? So, the sign said we are 1,728 meters above sea level. So that's 1.7 kilometers in the sky. So if you're on the beach right now, for some reason, at the ocean, I'm jealous, first of all. Second of all, look straight up. Over one and a half kilometers straight up. That's how high up I am right now. Above where you are. 1.7 kilometers would be just over a mile. So if you're in the States and you're at about sea level right now, if you're in California or on the coast, you can look up and say a mile in the sky. That's how high Trucker Josh was today mile up here. This is what it's like a mile above the ocean. There's snow. Let's make you feel, Deza. I want to go eat the snowman. Let's go make a snowman. We're going to be so excited. Did you say snowman? We're going to go make a snowman? No, I don't got time for that. I just wanted to point out the fact that, hey, I'm a mile in the sky right now. I wonder how thin the air is outside compared to... How high can you go before you black out? 10,000 feet, right? Above 10,000 feet, that's when it gets pretty thin and you should probably start thinking about oxygen masks, right? What do I know? What do I just drive a truck? What do I know?
My new trailer has the halo lights again. Yes! I love those. Not only that, it's also got the lights up there. That flash, if I can get them both in there shot at the same time. See that? So people like way back can see that, hey, this guy's got his turn signals on or forward. We've actually got quite a few of these new trailers now. Or maybe it's just me. Maybe I just keep getting assigned to them by fluke. Very nice. I love pulling new equipment. In some ways, I do wish I had a brand new truck to go in front of this brand new trailer. But still cheaper to have an old truck. I mean, those new trucks, you can have anywhere from a $2,000 to $3,000 a month payment. And then plus you got all those, all those electrical and environmental emission things going wrong with it all the time. And yeah, you'd be like, Chuck a Josh, it's all on warranty, Chuck a Josh. Yeah, but like I always say, your time off because it's in the shop is not on warranty. So yeah, you get your parts and labor for free. Woohoo! You still lose out on all that time driving. Much rather have an old truck paid off. You know, you just put diesel fuel in it and go, just like the way they used to. Just give her, that's all you gotta do. Just give her, these tires are still fantastic. Remember I just replaced these uh, this couple months ago. I wanted to wait till closer to winter, but I'm glad I replaced them when I did, cause oh, is it ever a smooth ride now? Oh, this thing runs smoother than when I bought it. It's like, you're like riding on glass. It's got the air ride front suspension too. So it's just like, glides down the highway. Such a silky smooth ride. Oh, I love this truck. Love this truck. Yeah, it's doing me good. And I got a call from a Freightliner back home. My moose bumper for the front here is ready. They got it in a shop in the back, locked up. No one's gonna get at it. Whenever I get home next, hey, getting my moose bumper installed. That's not gonna be for a few weeks yet, probably. I didn't wanna rush home straight now. I just was home for four days, right? Or three or four days, four nights anyways. I didn't wanna rush straight back home and then risk not having a load to leave with again, right? At least now I have a load, I got miles. I'm gonna get a full week's work out of this. Should be good. Here you are. I'm tired. It's been a long day. We made it to the rest area. What highway are we on? Across into the States. I'm in the States now. And we crossed from Asoyos, British Columbia into Oroville, Washington State. We went down that road for a while. Now we're about 75 kilometers or 45 minutes from uh, the interstate whatever interstate goal Spokane we're pretty close to Spokane Washington I think oh boy it's been a long day I'm so glad we just pulled in here a little while ago oh, it's a nice rest area there see a bunch of trucks here absolutely nowhere to park between us oh British Columbia and here so obviously these other drivers here got the same idea because there's a whole bunch of trucks here so I got here within my hours legally, which is awesome. It's good. We're gonna have a good 10 hour break here now. And we better get to it, cause uh, well, Diesel's already, he's already ahead of the game here. You're already sleeping, buddy. <laughs> I'm going straight to bed, guys. I will see you tomorrow, 4 a.m. Central Time. You can go down below to the description, find a bunch of links and stuff. You can click and see where it takes you. See you then, tomorrow.